subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and enjoy our complete health course for free. You can also join our WhatsApp broadcast or Telegram group. The link is pinned in comment section as well as in video description. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and join now. Hey everyone and welcome to ever another video. This video is all about the latest or the updated IELTS exam marking criteria which you guys should know before taking your IELTS exam. So what it actually is, let's get started. So I want to tell you guys that uh, in 2020 they have started the on-screen marking. On-screen marking that means that the jo aapke listening and reading ki jo seat hoti and you attempt your IELTS listening, reading and writing exam with the pencil, right? And earlier jo examiners hote the, wo aapke test ko access karte the. But uh, during uh, I would say during co during COVID they introduced this on-screen marking and uh, what it actually is. So isme kya hota hai ki uh, when you do your IELTS listening or reading you just transfer your answers to the given answer sheet with pencil and uske baad kya hota hai ki jo aapki sheets hote hain the invigilators take your exam and the question paper everything and later they just put those sheets on scanner where your test is being scanned but not checked jo aapke test hai wahan unko scan kiya jata hai jo extra material sheet pe likha hota hai if that is just like out of the boxes usko erase kiya jata hai jo matlab jo answers nahi hote usually some students write some words uh, on the sheet so un sabko erase karke wo scanner pe rakhte hain sheets ko and they directly send to the cambridge and wahan kya hota hai aapke jo exam hai unko check kiya jata hai and they are not checked by the computer they are not computerized that the answers are just like the they have entered the answer in a computer and it will check it's not the, your exam is accessed and marked by the markers markers are actually i can say they are people but they are not the examiners markers ke paas answer ki hoti hai that this is the listening answer and reading answer so they just check your answers with the answer key and uh unke paas kya hota hai ki jo exam scan hua hota hai wo unke paas jata hai they don't get the hard copy right so sometime you have written uh, some other word but some, kuch aisa hota hai ki wo us bitna dark nahi dikh pata and sometime they read it wrong and if they read it wrong just like you written r a t but you just uh, did a spelling mistake or that is just visible I can see very less visible, बहुत कम दिख रहा है and they added something else, so they will just cross your answer and आपका जो आंसर है वो wrong हो जाएगा so it actually is कि जो आप use करें dark pencil in reading, listening and writing, dark pencil is so dark that जो आपका exam scan होगा उसके बाद भी वो fade out नहीं होता है so it is advised to use the dark pencil during your hours listening, reading and writing exam. So what actually is कि उसके बाद check होने के बाद क्या होता है then there is a band calculator and suppose if you have th if your thirty answers are correct then they will award you seven bands if your thirty two answers are correct they will award you seven point five just like and in GT just like in GT reading you got thirty then they will award you six in academic reading you got thirty two they will award you seven point five the marking criteria for as academic and GT is different you know so that is a thing for listening and reading कि जो एग्जाम है वो स्कैन होकर कैम्ब्रिज के पास जाते हैं एंड दे जो मार्कर्स होते हैं आप एग्जाम को चेक करते हैं दे आर नॉट कंप्यूटराइज राइट सो मेक श्योर टू यूज द डार्क पेंसिल दैट मीन्स कि जो स्कैन होने के बाद भी वो अच्छे से विजिबल वो फेड आउट ना हो सो देर इज आई कैन से देर इज नो चांस कि वो आपका आंसर गलत कर दे उनको या आपका सही किया गया आंसर उनको गलत शो हो सो ऑलवेज यूज द डार्क पेंसिल टू टॉक अबाउट द राइटिंग राइटिंग इज ऑफ कोर्स नॉट कंप्यूटराइज राइटिंग को भी एग्जामिनर चेक करते हैं बट दैट इज नॉट कि वो जस्ट दे जस्ट चेक इट दैट यू हैव रिटर्न एन एस एस सी दैट यू हैव रिटर्न टास्क टू कि उसको पूरा चेक करें कि ये सही लिखा है ये गलत लिखा है दे जस्ट चेक द मेन फोर पॉइंट दैट इज द टास्क अचीवमेंट कोहेरेंस कोहेजन लेक्जिकल रिसोर्स ग्रामेटिकल रेंज एंड एक्यूरेसी उसके अकॉर्डिंग आपके जो बैंड स्कोर होते हैं उनको वो डिवाइड करते हैं कि इस चीज़ का टास्क अचीवमेंट है या नहीं है टास्क के बाहर तो लिखा ऑफ टॉपिक तो नहीं गया है ग्रामेटिकल रेंज लेक्जिकल स्कोहेरेंस कोहेजन सो दीज थिंग्स के बाद ये सब कुछ के बैंड अवार्ड होने के बाद दे कैलकुलेट योर ओवरऑल बैंड स्कोर सो दैट इज द मार्किंग क्रिटिया फॉर द राइटिंग एंड इट टू टॉक अबाउट स्पीकिंग स्पीकिंग बैंड स्कोर आर गिवन ऑन द स्पॉट ये द लोकल एग्जाम इनर हु जस्ट टेक योर स्पीकिंग एग्जाम एक्सेस एंड मार्क योर स्पीकिंग एग्जाम ऑन द स्पॉट 
uh, there is kind of this myth uh, in the students and the candidates that our exam is recorded that is recorded but that is not recorded for the marking purpose that is only recorded for the eur purpose suppose if you want to fill the reevaluation inquiry on results so they are uh, in speaking then they access your recording else the examiner who is taking your speaking will award your band scores on this spot so that is the marking criteria which you guys should know before taking your exam that was all about it make sure to hit the subscribe button press the bell icon we teach ielts online for free and share complete i would say ielts stuff including the all ielts test reviews including speaking writing listening and reading which are happening all over the world and it's completely free to subscribe and if you have any doubt then don't forget to ask that in comment section we will try best to help you guys out take care goodbye peace out